Ah, welcome back, my friends, to Jesse's Storytime Spectacular, where everything is always spectacular. Now, today, I want to take a little deep dive into Stephen King's 1996 Thinner. Yes, we're talking Thinner, the 1996 very 90s film, by the way. I mean, there's a lot of 90s things used throughout this film that make it very apparent that it was very early 90s. I mean, even 1996 is stretching it on some of these scenes, but that's all right. We'll deal. Even though IMDb and all those Rotten Tomatoes and all that shit, they all put out horrid reviews for this, and I have no idea why. It just don't work. It's just like, how could y'all give it like a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes? Like, what? Are you crapping me? I mean, yes, of course. Okay, so there's a couple mini problems with the film, but there's nothing that bad. And it's pretty good, and it's on point, and it knows what it's doing. I I forgot to turn the fixed tank back on again. Like, I don't even know. Should we turn it on? All right, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll turn it on. Just the fish are happy anyway. They're doing their shit. They're chilling. All right? But let's get back into this. All right? Thinner. Now, baby, it's like... You know, do y'all think I need to lose me a little, you know, thinner or gain like a whole lot of weight? Because I'm thinking I need to gain like, you know, about 120 pounds. At least. Come on, you know. But diabetes and all. Alright, but back to this maybe. Come on. Alright. We've got the main character. And the whole thing is all about him. And he's this pompous ass lawyer who's kind of mean and like he's kind of a dickbag and yeah, you know, whatever. But he gets people out of shit who are definitely not innocent. And uh, then after some celebrating of the week and whatnot, uh, you know. His wife is, uh, trying to, uh, entice him a bit more about his, uh, you know, belly and, uh, his weight issues. But, uh, nothing seems to be working and, uh, I think Billy's been cheating on that diet. So, this wife, Heidi, by the way, which is quite the fitting name to her personality. Sorry, Heidi's. I know there's a couple cool Heidi's out there, but yeah, she, this this girl ain't representing, alright? She ain't no Heidi, she's just mean, alright? <laughs> Look, I'm gonna put the face up on the screen, the, the woman who played her just played this amazingly bitchy wife. <laughs> totally evil bitch wife. Sorry, I don't even mean no offense to that. I just mean, this chick was mean in the film. She's just cruel. But anyway, the only time she's giving is she's like, Okay, alright, so you're thinking about food all the time? Well, you know what, baby? You just won your case. So I'm going to give you a little treat. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, she's feeling a little feisty. So she decides to, uh, you know, give him a little sucky sucky, uh, down in the car while he's driving. And, uh, well, he ain't gonna have her stop. I mean, come on. We all been there. Right? Alright. Yeah. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. That's it. You just don't stop. But. You also try not to, you know, run the car into things and, you know, die. So, you know, then he hits some old chick, right? I, this old lady runs out in the street being a bitch, 
saying, oh my god, I'm gonna run out of fog, I'm fine, whatever. Of course you're gonna get the one dude who's getting street dumb while his dead ass wife is like nasty up in his shit. And he's like, ew, like, this is the problem with straight people. They're killing society, okay? Oh, I know, I'm terrible. Alright, but look. One thing I need to state about this whole deal about him hitting her with the car is that it is not all his fault, okay? And I don't even mean that from, like, a weird lawyer, like, you know, loophole standpoint or something. No, no, no. This is mostly about 90% Heidi's fault, which she will not acknowledge once within this film. She won't take any credibility nor feel guilt for her actions and what she did to cause her husband to have to end up hitting this woman because she wanted to give him the orgasm right there on freaking Main Street, right? Yes, I'm talking about just this blowjob scene a ton. I don't care. All right, Stephen King's thinner. All right, dude, and let's face it. The dude who played Billy, I had the hats for. I don't care if he was a fat ass, and then he's looking thin. He was looking hot in some of that shit, all right? Yeah, whatever, but anyway. Thinner. So the movie's pretty sweet, all right? It's kind of like, you know... All right, so he kills that old chick, and she happens to be from, like, this... Romanian family who has like some gypsy kind of, uh, I don't know, involvement, and they kind of just label it that, which I don't like anyway, but you know, whatever. So they're just like, you know, calling them like the evil gypsies or something, but even though gypsies aren't really evil, whatever, they're just stereotype that for the movie for whatever reason and i don't know uh, uh, we're weird stereotypes who knows <laughs> but hey i'm gay and i'm crazy and i don't care so whatever we're just talking about a movie and that was a book by the way cha-ching up on the screen yeah all right and it was written by stephen king but he was actually writing as Richard Bachman at the time, which is his little alias name, and he writes under, because he doesn't always want to put out just another Stephen King novel all the time. I uh, know. It's exhausting. But this was a good one, right? I don't care what Rotten Tomatoes says. I liked this movie. It was pretty cool. It was neat. And it was a TV-made movie, like, I mean, we got Stephen King's It while we were growing up, and that was awesome. Pennywise creeped me out, alright? But this was more a psych horror kind of thing. So it's like, you know, alright, they hit this old gypsy grandmother. She dies. It's kind of sad, yeah. And it's messed up that they, like, you know, are stereotyping them as, like, evil and terrible and calling them bitches and, like, you know, wanting scorn and all this stuff. Whatever. But, like, obviously some of that's coming from, like, Billy being a jerk and, you know, his little pompous prick attitude, whatever. Even though he thinks he's just, you know, God even eating, like, Krispy Kremes, whatever. I don't know. He's just able, he, he gets cursed, alright? So, the son of the granddaughter, he is Tazzy, or Tadzy, I believe. 
and his last name is Lemke. So that's the whole family's last name for all the gypsies. Alright, that includes the daughter under him, Gina, and some of the brothers and family and cousins and whatnot, but they don't call them all that, so we only know the immediate family. Now, You know, that old dude, Chad Z, or whatever, curses Billy for his uh, horrible, you know, getting away with murder and whatnot, and killing his family, and killing the, his mother in the car accident, and then getting away with it in court. With it being all evil and stuff and like corrupt, but like Billy's all out of it and it's all good and he don't care. He got his roadhead. He was cool. He's out of trouble. He doesn't care, but he's cursed. All right, so he's going to just eat like everything in sight, but he will nonstop keep losing weight. It's like... Me, with my diabetic body, I cannot gain weight. I know, but I'm not I'm going to shut up about myself and start talking about this movie a little bit, because I know. So, he eats, like, everything. It's crazy. He's, like, eating, like, you know, uh, uh, days worth of ribs and stuff like that. It's hilariously awesome, which is kind of mocking itself in the movie, but it's very funny. And... Uh, I love the, uh, you know, the, how the wife becomes even more snarky and evil throughout. She's just like, you know, I'm so worried about you, but I'm just going to cheat on you with this other guy. I don't know, whatever. And he's your lawyer. It's like, ew. All right. So, I'm done with the wife, alright? Uh, let's just push her aside for a second here. So, what goes down is, obviously his health is getting messed up after a couple weeks of this. And he's becoming like a swizzle sick, and he's like kind of half dead. So, he's like, alright, I need some help, right? He tries to go beg the gypsies himself for help. But when they deny him, he goes, alright... Well, guess what? I'm going to come back if I don't get you to take this curse off of me. And the white man from town curse is much worse than the curse you put on me. And they all laugh. They all, you know, shrug him off, whatever. Get out, spit at him, disrespect him, you know, tell him he's evil. Screw off, whatever. Anyway, he regroups, visits some homies, makes sure he finds out that he ain't the only one who got cursed. And this other dude's like on death door and needs to turn it into a lizard or something. Weird, but kind of neat. I right, cool special effects for 1996. Come on. Anyway. So, Billy's all like, I'm dying, I'm a swizzle stick, I can barely move, I can barely do shit, I'm like, a walking corpse pretty much half the time, so, I need help. So he talks to his boy Richie, who's a badass, I, I'm loving this Richie dude, he is a cool, cool dude, and the actor's a badass, alright? Let's say, right. he approaches Richie and he tells him what's going on. And Richie's mom actually finds out and explains the whole thing to him and says, Look, this is a curse, alright? What that man did to you is a curse and you gotta get it off of you. So, he asks Richie for, you know, his uh, underground help like that. And Richie just happens to be a gun nut and a crazy dude who's just like, you know, nobody, 
messes with my friends. You know. So. He just decides. This gypsy family is out. He does a little PI work on the side. Kind of thing. And then he tracks them all down. Right? To where they're staying. In some field. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know how they put that shit together, but it's like a compound or something. But it's a bunch of RVs, pretty much, just kind of, like, scattered into a field. Kind of like one of those mini festival areas. I don't know. But, like, a lot of them. Okay? And he just destroys, like, all of them. He kills, like, a ton of them, straight up. Just machine guns, grenades... This thing is like a SWAT team. Cray. I serious cray SWAT team. I But it's a one man show and he's awesome. And then he gets them to end up shooting their own people by accident and it's all a big tragedy, blah blah blah. And then the old dude's place gets screwed up and Lemke's like, Oh my god, I almost just died and half my family's dead and now I better get in contact with this dude and take this curse off of him because he's going to kill my whole family if I don't. And this has just gone too far. So that's pretty much what happens is in the short nut, I'm not going to ruin the whole thing, but basically everything comes together and some shit. And then he meets him on a park bench and, like, bleeds himself out. And, then, yeah, I put this fun little cute gif up on the screen for y'all about it. I, he bleeds his hand and blood goes into this little pie. And he's like, you know, you should eat the pie and just do it yourself. And, you know, save yourself the hurt. But he's like, you know, no, I'm going to suffer. I'm going to feed it to somebody who I don't like. And he decides, yeah, I'm going to get revenge on my wife for cheating on me. And yeah, he gets it. He leaves that pie for her. She eats some. Goes to bed. He wakes up. She dead. He's happy. He's like, hell yeah, I killed her. That batch got what she deserved and my curse is gone. Sweet. Right? Billy redeemed even though he's a jerk. He's still got away with it. And he's still looking fine. <laughs> no. But. The little twist of things. He goes downstairs and oh yeah. He's got like you know this like seven year old daughter or whatever. I don't know. Ten. But she was like you know oh my god daddy like. I ate a piece of your pie for breakfast. It was so good. I'm out the door. I'm going to go to practice. I love you. Bye. And he's like, uh, okay, bye. Um, yeah, like, you know, you're going to die, but now I feel guilty. And just as he's like, you know, I feel guilty. I'm just going to eat the pie and die with everyone else. And, you know, whatever. He hears the doorbell, and it's like, oh, sweet, all right, swing, we got, like, the little twist, and we're like, all right, all right, so the wife's been cheating, right, so we get, like, the random visit, and he's just like, what the heck are you doing here, dude, you're my lawyer, he's like, and nothing's wrong, and everything's cool now, like, Everything's kind of settled, and I'm feeling better, and life is cool, and my wife is good, and I don't know why you're here. And the lawyer's kind of dancing around the questions, and Billy's, like, looking at the pie, like, Huh, uh, you want some pie? And he, uh, you know, kind of, whole thing fades out with the dude being like, Yeah, I'm gonna kill you with the pie. Alright, cool. So the curse from the white man from town. That's what I'm talking about. Billy's curse went through. And he got out of it. And then didn't eat the pie. (laughs) 
Stephen King's Thinner. Go watch the dang movie. I don't care what I've ruined for you. It's worth the watch. It's fun. It's a good read, by the way. Check out the book. Stephen King rocked this one. I don't care what nobody said. It was a great, great film. They tried to call it like a miniseries thing, but it was a movie. Whatever. Anyway, love y'all. Peace. It's story time. And I got a lot more coming for y'all. Trust me. A lot. <laughs> Peace.